Hey, Shalom, Israel. Uh, first off, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakak Uh would like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And would also like to say peace and uh, salutations to the hopeful elect. That includes the men, women, and children who are reserved to be saved when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. Uh, I just want to do a quick uh, lesson on my lunch break here. I'm in the book of Jeremiah, the, the 50th chapter. And I'm going to just start at the 22nd verse. Just hit a few points. Hopefully this will be edifying. Uh, this is Jeremiah 50 and uh, 22. It says, A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. So that's the time that we're in right now, man. We're in the last days. And right now, there's a sound of battle. Uh, starting with the men of the Lord, like it says, uh, pursuant uh, to uh, Isaiah the 58 chapter, cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And any time, you know, like in the ancient times before a great battle, you had uh, basically like a war cry, a war cry or like a, a sound of the battle, basically to prepare the people. You know, that a, a great battle was coming and that a potentially devastating uh, judgment or destruction uh, was to take place. So that's the same thing through the spirit that the prophets, the men of the Lord, the watchers that were set up in the spirit to see those things before it actually happened are doing right now. Man, we're, we're uh, making the battle cry because we see that the current empire that we in Great Babylon, you know, which we know America uh, fits all of the prophecies of of uh, of Great Babylon, according to the Bible, according to the prophecies, and Great Babylon is about to be prepared for great destruction because wickedness has uh, exceedingly polluted the entire planet through the hands of Great Babylon and chiefly the rulers thereof of Great Babylon being the nation of Edom or the self-proclaimed white people, as we like to say, just for uh, clarification. And it says, verse 23, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? And pretty much America, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. America is the hammer of the earth. Even within these other uh, Edomite nations, whether you want to talk about the Europeans uh, or the Germans, the British, the French, uh, whatever you, the case is, man. Uh, through NATO, they use America uh, as basically the hammer to carry out uh, a po policy throughout the whole earth, man, to basically uh, enforce uh, the ways of this uh, Edomite hegemony that uh, has basically dominated the, the control of the earth and of the people uh, of, of the earth. So America fits that, that bill to the T, man. It says, how is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? So the hammer of the earth, meaning uh, the American military, man, we're in a time right now to where it's about to be cut asunder and broken. And why is because beforehand, you know, earlier, you know, in the inception of America, America was able to basically trick these other nations through their technology into thinking that they're uh, somehow the most high even. Being able to make fire appear from heaven, you know, through the technology and things of that nature. But now uh, America, through uh, the snares that they've laid for themselves, basically selling uh, technology and ideas to these other nations. These other nations have been able to level the playing field by uh, having uh, the same nuclear capabilities. Now, they may not have nearly as much uh, a nuclear weapons stockpiled as america does but you don't have to have an abundance of these nuclear weapons man to cause devastating destruction man it only takes a few so now the the the, the playing field is is level man and that's the way that the hammer of the earth america is going to be cut asunder and broken it says how is babylon aka america become a desolation among the nations because right now uh economically these other nations they're basically trying to isolate themselves from this american system and way of doing things man mainly right now everyone's basically trying to isolate themselves from the american dollar you know the american currency i read a report today i, for I forgot and it, it may be multiple sources uh reporting it whether it be bbc 
um, the Wall Street Journal, so on and so forth. But basically, uh, China has just basically put tariffs on $60 billion of American goods, man, in retaliation to uh, trade tariffs that the beloved Donald J. Trump has already put on them. So that right there, that's just another example of how the other nations are making uh, Great Babylon a uh, desolation, man. Because realistically, in the time that we're in right now, America, they only really have uh, one true ally. And that's those gutter rats in the Holy Land that are calling themselves Jews, those Israelis, man. Those are the only uh, American allies, so to speak, man. Because even though America, they're uh, a part of NATO and all of that, man, pretty much... A lot of those European nations, man, they're going to isolate America, man. A, a lot of America's so-called allies that they have right now, man, they're going to basically turn their backs on America. And, of course, these other nations, whether you want to talk about the Persians, Iran, the Moabites, the Chinese, the, the Ammonites, the Japanese, and then even the, the other Edomite nations, man, the Russians, you know, everyone's basically isolating themselves uh, from doing or conducting business with America, man. It says, verse 24, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon. And thou was not aware. So all through the spirit of the Lord, ultimately, because the, the heavenly father, he's weighing in on matters that are playing out on the earth. Uh, the Lord has basically laid a snare for great Babylon, a.k.a. America, because through their own technology and things of that nature, their ways of doing business and ideas that they've sold to these other nations, they've basically laid a trap for their own demise. And they're not aware right now because of that pride. Like the scripture says in Obadiah, the pride of thine heart have deceived them. It says, thou art found and also caught because thou hast striven against the Lord. And ultimately, that's the reason why the Lord, through these other nations, has great destruction prepared for great Babylon, man, just because this place is striven against the Lord. This place promotes ways of death. It promotes uh, ways of rebellion in every uh, aspect uh, that's contrary to the ways of the Heavenly Father via the Bible. You know, examples being the Lord says that homosexuality, that's an abomination. Great Babylon, a.k.a. America, they... Uh, are all about uh, promoting homosexuals, transgenders, pedophiles, and all of this other perversion to have rights and to be, be able to flourish in this society, man. You know, they basically set up women to rule over men. Uh, children can basically have power over their parents in certain situations where they can call, you know, uh, the child protective services if, you know, the parents are are, are are not sparing the rod, you know, so on and so forth. And most importantly, uh, Great Babylon, it has the Lord's people unto this day in captivity, man, on the bottom, you know, and just a, a complete state of death right now. So in all of these examples that I'm naming, this is how Great Babylon has striven against the Lord. You know, it's been an adversary or Satan against the ways of the Heavenly Father. Verse 25, it says, the Lord hath opened his armory and hath brought forth the weapons of his indignation. And that word indignation, if you break that down, it means righteous anger. So the fact that these German scientists that America uh, used during the time of what was called the Manhattan Project to create these nuclear missiles, man, that was all through the spirit of the Lord, ultimately, uh, to basically bring these weapons against America to uh, facilitate that destruction. These are all part of the Lord's armory, you know, and they ultimately laid their, that snare for themselves, you know, through the will of the Heavenly Father. Verse 25, I'll read it again. Jeremiah 50 and 25, it says, The Lord had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Lord power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. So it's not just because these weaker nations that are gaining strength because they have nuclear capability that they're going to be able to come up against a miracle according to their own will. This is all ordained by the heavenly father, man. These other nations through that nuclear 
uh, technology. Uh, that's all part of the of the Lord's armory to bring indignation against Great Babylon and Chaldeans. That's basically talking about like the 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 Magi's and the and the soothsayers and the basically the the higher illuminaries within Great Babylon, which we know that is America today. You know, so the Lord has great judgment prepared against America because this place has striven against the Lord. You know. And it's it's only rightfully so, man. The the self proclaimed white man he's he's had a great run in the earth, and like it says in um, Job fourteen and five, the Lord had appointed his bounds that he cannot pass, so his time is almost up. Esau, the self proclaimed white man, he's running on borrowed time right now. So it's all beautiful through the spirit, even though brothers catching hell, we low as hell at the bottom. We have to basically see these. Uh, Edomites and these other nations uh, prosper above us, but like uh, Asaph said in Psalms the seventy third chapter, when he came into the tabernacle of the Most High, then he understood the end. We know the end game, man, and we know that America and the the Edomites, the self proclaimed white man's run in the earth, is almost up. You know, I'm gonna get this real quick. This is in Isaiah fourteen. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to just read a little bit on this. I'm going to just jump around. This is Isaiah 14 and 3. It says, and it, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein that was made to serve. So that's another reason that America uh, is going to be destroyed, man, in a way that they've striven against the Lord because they have the Lord's people in captivity. But the Lord's going to give us rest once he uh, destroys great Babylon, man. You know, so that's the hope uh, for the elect, man, for doing this work, for taking uh, these afflictions uh, for our faith. It says, verse four, that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how hath the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased, man. So right now, all through the spirit right now, brothers preaching the word, putting that vibration out in the earth, man, you know, and the Lord's going to make it manifest in due time. We're taking up a parable against the king of Babylon, man. You know, and right now the king of Babylon, it just happens to be Donald J. Trump, which the men of the Lord, we all we all for Donald J. Trump being in office. And if the Lord still has us in this kingdom or uh, in uh, reelection time, we hope that he's in there again, man. We hope he gets reelected because he's going to basically push us closer to that destruction, man, that the scriptures uh, prophesy about. It says. And it also says the golden city ceased and the golden city uh, that's talking about uh, America, man, great Babylon, man, because a lot of these other nations from these other countries, they come over to America uh, thinking that they're going to somehow live out the American dream, thinking uh, fantasies that America uh, streets are paved in gold only to come here to meet harsh reality, man. But at the end of the day, this whole setup is about to be brought down. This is a. Uh, Isaiah uh, 14 and 5, it says, The Lord had broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the ruler. So the Lord, he's basically going to break the staff of the wicked, man. Like I read in uh, Jeremiah 50, it says, How is the hammer of the earth cut down? Because right now, man, Esau, he's the hammer of the earth because he has the strongest military power. You know, and I'm, I'm mainly talking about the American military. You know, proud to be an American Mostly they're proud of their capability of being able to go into these other nations land at will and just be able to just take what they want, man. You know, but the Lord, he's breaking the staff for the wicked, man. It says he who smote the people in wrath with the continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindered. So. This nation of people, the self-proclaimed white people, the Edomites, man, they basically took out all of these different nations with a continual stroke. And they've ruled the nations, man, for years in complete anger. But now, you know, the, 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 the shoes on the other foot, man, we're meeting the flip of the coin to where these other nations are basically coming up against this place, man. So you so-called white people, you Americans, you are now being persecuted, man, and no one's going to hinder that process. You know, it says the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. 
they break forth into singing and that's really talking about once america is, is completely cast down and destroyed because the scripture says in proverbs 29 and 2 uh when the uh wicked are in authority the people mourn but when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice so once the wicked uh kingdom is brought down the lord is going to establish a righteous kingdom with his people in power you know uh i want to just skip down and hit a few points uh, yo, here you go. This is in Isaiah 14 and 2. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? So, right now, the self proclaimed white man, the Edomites, the Edomite power structure and hegemony that has controlled the earth is being brought down. And Lucifer, that means basically light bearer. And right now, the so-called or the self-proclaimed white man, he is the bearer of light on the left-hand side right now, you know. And it says, how art thou cut down to the ground which didst weaken the nations? And they, uh, America, Great Babylon, they've weakened these other nations through their wicked uh, false philosophies and doctrines and way of doing business. Basically, uh Allowing these uh, other nations to take a uh, hold to ways that was detrimental to their, their livelihood. You know. It says verse 13. It says. For thou hast said in thine heart. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. So that's that American pride man. Through their technology. Through their uh, satellites in outer space, their uh, tracking capability, surveying capability, and uh, this whole RFID micro the uh, B system, man, America and the so-called white man, the, the higher ups, man, they think they're the most high. So that all goes into how they striven against the Lord, and that's why the Lord is uh, bringing indignation against this place. He's uh, allowing these other nations as his armory. To, to shoot missiles on this place to bring destruction, man. It says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So the Lord is not going to let this go unaccounted for. The, the, the scripture says that the Lord shall not uh, in no wise acquit the wicked. I'm loosely paraphrasing because Esau, through the pride of his heart, man, being wiser than Daniel, like it says in Ezekiel 28, man, he thinks he's the most high. So the Lord... You know, he's going to the Lord has indignation, righteous anger, and he's going to bring destruction for that, man. But the Lord, he's long suffering. He's just allowing a big ass case to be built up so he can bring that ultimate gavel of destruction on this place and put the nail in the coffin on great Babylon. Verse 15, it says, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And we know that hell in this scripture is uh, in the Hebrew is shower all. And that it just basically means the grave. So America is just about to be brought to the grave. It's about to be brought low. It's about to be put down, man. It's about to be put to an end. It's going to be made desolate. Verse 16. It says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble that did shake kingdoms? So... All of these different nations, man, as they're witnessing the downfall of America, they're going to be in astonishment, man. They're going to be like, damn, like, is this the man that made the earth tremble and, sh and shook up all of these different kingdoms? Basically uh, manipulating elements to be able to cause hurricanes and tsunamis and earthquakes all over different parts of the earth. You know, all of these different nations are going to consider, man, the power of the Lord in the time that we coming into, man. You know, so that's the time that we're coming into now. The, 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 the prophets are sounding the alarm. They're sounding the cry of battle. And the Lord, he's going to uh, open his armory and uh, through his indignation, his righteous anger, he's going to allow these other nations to uh, nuke this place, man. You know, so that snare, you know, that Esau has laid, man, is going to be basically put upon his own head. And rightfully so. So I think I'm going to end it off on that. I got to get back to the plantation. So uh, 
I just want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the sincere, hopeful elect. Keep pushing this truth in all sincerity and faith. Shalom.